At the IT University of Copenhagen, Denmark, a group of researchers has developed an open source gaze tracker. A gaze tracker is a tool which makes it possible to control your computer with your eyes. An eye tracker can be used by people with severe motor disabilities who cannot move their body and this gives them the opportunity to communicate using their eye movements. One of the uses of this eye tracker is Björn. He cannot move any part of his body. He can't talk, he can't eat and he cannot breathe without artificial respiration. However, his mind is intact. Bjørns intellekt er, er ikke påvirket af hans ALS, og jeg oplever ham helt som den samme mand, øh, som jeg sin tid mødte. 15 years ago, the 44-year-old florist Bjørn Bergman Jeppesen was diagnosed with ALS, a disorder that weakens the muscles until they're completely dysfunctional. Only his eyes are spared, and now they're his only way of communicating with his surroundings. It's not only people diagnosed with ALS, who may benefit from using a gaze tracker. The gaze tracker may also have proven valuable for a person with serious injuries after a car accident or a permanently injured war veteran. Gaze tracking technology is also used to improve security on the roads. Millions of people all over the world could benefit from the possibility of using their eyes as a set of hands. Also students benefit from gaze tracking software like these students who are attending a human-computer interaction course. We're using the gaze tracker to um, find out where people look on the screen so that we can optimize our navigation systems to place items of importance where people look. Without the gaze tracker, uh, we wouldn't be able to get as accurate data. It is possible to do something similar with just having people tell what they look at, but studies have shown that you don't get the same data at all. Eye tracking technology is not something new. It has been used before by uh, people with severe disabilities to communicate with others. And there are many commercial systems in the market, but their price, around $20,000, is often too high for these people who, who are sick and who cannot work. We identified this issue and uh, we decided to release a, a, a night tracker that could help these people and we decided to, to release it as open source. Living in Denmark means Jutta and Björ receive substantial support from the government, which enables them to use a commercial gaze tracking system. But they often wonder how life would have been without the possibility to communicate. Hvis man fratager et menneske muligheden for at kommunikere, så kan man jo ikke længere give udtryk for det, man føler og tænker. Og folk kan ikke længere... Altså, man, man, man bliver jo frataget muligheden for simpelthen at være menneske, man næsten sige, ikke? There is an obvious need for a low-cost eye tracking system, given that many people around the world cannot afford a commercial system, for instance students and people with disabilities. There have been some previous attempts to, to release um, low-cost systems, but they are not easy to use and the users are expected to have special skills to make them work. The ITU Gaze Tracker is the only webcam-based eye tracking system that has tolerance to natural head movements. This means that people can use it comfortably because they don't need to sit completely still in order to use it, which can be difficult to, to achieve. Furthermore, it is the only system to support high-performance cameras for increased accuracy. This means that it is possible to hit very small targets on the screen. And very important, the ITU Gaze Tracker is the only open source system that is compatible with Windows. Since Windows is the most used operating system in the world, this means that more people can have access to it. Using the ITU Gaze Tracker is not entirely free. You need a standard webcam and an infrared light. However, all this equipment can be obtained for less than $40, which is far from the $30,000 commercial systems. Altså, jeg synes, det er enkelte mennesker, som har brug for, for eye-track-systemer. De skal, de skal bare have det. Altså, det er en menneske ret at kommunikere. One of the main focuses of the research group is to raise awareness of the eye-tracker software so that people who need it know it's available. We think that eye-tracking is a very interesting technology that can help a lot of people around the world and therefore we uh, hope that we will get the possibility of conducting more research in this field in the future. Javier and his research group are not the only ones who would like the ITU gaze tracker to be commonly available. Also Biwa and Jutta 
who have tried several different kinds of eye trackers see the potential of a user-friendly open source alternative. He really made me very excited for it, I would say. To use an eye tracker that is difficult to use, it is time-consuming and it takes the muscles. Så det er temmelig meget afgørende, at, at man har et eye tracker system, som fungerer, og som man skal bruge et minimum af energi og kræfter på.